this looks awesome even among jeeps and other lifted trucks it's getting serious now i'm getting quotes for rear locker options unfortunately i didn't get the answer i wanted so when i go on the four wheel parts website there's a eaton e-locker for a dana 60 and they couldn't find it on the computer i want i like walking into stores and talking to people so he told me there's a yukon air locker so that's 1300 a compressor is 338 and then they're charging 858 for install altogether 2716 i i told him i want to get a 410 regear he chose the 456 i i think maybe there was a language barrier going on but you know i might come back i'll come back with my laptop next time to show them the eaton e-locker but that's a lot cheaper than what Welltech wanted to charge me for a uh, air locker well tech wanted to charge me four thousand dollars out the door when i got my van lifted i talked to the sales lady asked her about the um, rear locker options all they offer is the arb four thousand dollars they don't they no longer have aux lockers or um eaton e-lockers so that's all they offered at well tech so my choice is i, I don't you know who got me paranoid Chico in the van? He was looking up air lockers and then he was uh, researching them and he told me he saw some videos of like oil getting into the airlines and oil getting into your van. I don't want to deal with that. I know aux locker is mechanical. Eaton e locker is electronic. I do like the idea of the aux locker because if you do the mechanical option with the aux locker, they'll put like a cable down here and you just pull it up pull it down i believe that that's what my understanding of it is i gotta research it more because now i'm uh, thinking about ox locker but yeah this quote did not include a regear the regear set it looks like see compressor uh air locker and labor right there so when i looked at the eaton e-locker install labor at four wheel parts they wanted a 690 i don't know where the 830 is coming from or 850 maybe additional labor to install a compressor i mean i like the idea of an air locker it's just you know i don't want to deal with potentially oil getting in my vehicle like a uh, diff oil so i really want to go mecha mechanical or electronic i don't think i want to do an automatic locker so that's the plan man so I had to uh, run some errands here. Yeah, V10. So, yeah, let me know in the comments. I know my van content is the most popular content I have. And I interact with you guys a lot because of the van content. I mean, I made friends on YouTube because of my van content. There's a meet coming up. So let me know in the comments how much you guys are looking forward to seeing this thing going off-roading and how much you're looking forward to seeing what a lifted two-wheel drive van is capable of with the rear locker so i like entertaining you guys and i like being informative and i feel very blessed that i make any money here on youtube the reason i make any money here on youtube is because of all the support i get from you guys and you know that's my treat for you guys of course it's for me too but you know i'm thinking about you guys in this also like um when you tell me guys something helps you guys out a lot i'm more um i'm more inspired to do it and you know the more content i'll make if that's the content you guys really want to see so let me know guys all right running errands here